Hello, I'm Celia Hart. I'm a printmaker and illustrator and I live in the southwest corner of Suffolk. I've been at Folk East for every year except last year where I took a little break and I was really looking forward to coming back in the art arcade and seeing all my friends and um, all the lovely visitors and customers that we get. Um, but sadly it wasn't to be, so um, we're doing something a bit different and um, Becky and the committee at Folk East have invited some of us to make a little film and to show you where we work and what we do. So if we go over to my studio, I'll show you how I make my lino cuts. show you how I start my prints from a quick idea. Usually when I'm out walking, I do lots of walking. And then a more detailed drawing. And eventually, after cutting the lino block and printing, I get the print. I usually do 50. Well, no, no more than 50. In a series or an edition. So that was um, the stubble stag. And this is a more recent print, The Winter Visitors. That's based on the beautiful swans at Wellney Nature Reserve. I'll just put this to one side. Oh, put it on the floor. Um, this is some prints based on a holiday we had in Newfoundland. We were actually doing some family history um, research and I had these quick ideas and they eventually became these prints to are lovely for Valentine's presents. This little print here, she started as this little scribble in the corner of my book after reading the, um, the lovely novel that's based in Suffolk, All Among the Barley by Melissa Harrison. And I couldn't get this image out of my mind, so it became a print, The Girl with the Corn Crake. That's one of my ones from late last year, I think I did that. And more recently, during lockdown, I'm working on some more complicated pictures. This is one I did a couple of months ago. It's actually commissioned by a neighbour of mine who wanted a picture a bit like the cover for the almanac. And you can see a big version of it over there. Can you see it over there? And she thought it looked like the view from her garden but she wanted it more flowery and summery, like the meadow she's got. And so I did this for her. And because that was, I really enjoyed working on this. I'm now working on a new print, which is based on Shingle Street, probably somewhere lots of you know. Before I start carving, I'll need to transfer the design onto the lino. This is grey artist lino. And so I'm happy with the design, but it will need to be reversed so the print is eventually the same way round as the original idea. So I printed out the design in a mirror image and I lay it over the top of the lino with some tracing down wet carbon paper underneath. And then I can go over the lines 
with a pen or pencil and it transfers the image onto my lino ready for carving. It's going to take a long time to cut that big block so I thought I'd print one of my smaller prints. I need some more of this edition printed. So this is what I'm going to need. I've got paper, Japanese paper. I've got the block positioned firmly on this board. Um, ink, which I'm going to mix in a moment. And tools for burnishing, hand burnishing the paper. Um, I don't use printing press. Um, I use either Baron. These are special tools called Barons. Um, but the best tools are a wooden spoon or this little ceramic jar is brilliant. Or this paperweight is a real favourite of mine to burnish the paper. I never use ink straight from the tube. I always mix some colours myself and I mix the pigments with extender. Um, it makes a nice smooth ink and it's slightly transparent. As you can see, printmaking is all about the preparation. We haven't even got around to printing yet, but we're ready to roll. So we'll roll some ink and there's my little pile of ink. That's probably enough for a good 30 small prints there. Um, we just need a little bit which we're going to roll out with the roller. nice shish sound. We're ready to print. There's lots of different ways people teach you to line up the block and register a print and put the paper on, um, but you gradually work out a way that works for you. I tend to line up the centre of the paper and I work with the print at the top here and the bottom up there, but that's just me. What we want is a very thin film of ink across the block. We don't want any patches or little um, marks or hairs or um, little specks of dust in the ink. So you need to check it and make sure it's all neat. Also check to see that there's no ink on the surrounding area. And then we're ready to put the paper on. Usually you use a baron to smooth everything. And the paper sticks to the ink. As you can see, if I turn the edge up, it's a bit fuzzy, so we need to press a lot harder. My favourite thing is this little glass paperweight, and it's absolutely perfect. 
burnishing. Do the edges and then I make sure the detail of the print is slightly visible through the paper. hand burnishing is you can have a look and see if the print's good. It doesn't need a bit more rubbing but this one looks good and we're ready to reveal the print. So I hope that gives you some idea of what I do all day in the studio. I drink a lot of tea Thanks Becky for the new mug and I hope to see you back at Folk East when it happens next year, hopefully in the art, art arcade. Um, but anyway, bye for now. <laughs>